What up, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop. Hope y'all see that beautiful view behind me. So as I get prepared to go to my on my trip to Colombia, uh, with countdown about two days now, I believe, I had to stop in and holler at my man Red Alert. Uh, yes, Red Alert from Red Alert fame from his YouTube channel. And uh, I believe you've seen him on Bull Race channel as well. Uh, Red Alert's a good friend of mine. We kick it a few times here and there. And uh, I think people want to know about buying land, building on your land, and you know, so and forth. So I'm going to give you guys different ideas as far as you know, buying property, building on your land, um, also buying houses just already built. So I decided to start with Red and you know, get, get a little insight from him on how he did his thing. He came here, bought land, built on his property. He has a very nice property here. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little insight on that and talk to him. I just wanted you guys to see this view. We're in the mountain. This is beautiful. I'm not going to give his location away, but very nice up here near Sasua. Very beautiful scenery. All right, so let's highlight red real quick. All right, y'all. So I'm here with my man, Red Alert. As, I, as you guys know, as I said, he has his own YouTube channel as well. He's done some videos. Uh, you've also seen him with Bo Rakes, the crazy Bo Rakes as he is. I decided I was going to do a series on people buying property and building. Um, for those that know, all the DR cribs I do are houses and apartments of, of my friends, people that I know, whether they own or they rent. So I'll show you guys what you can have. <clears throat> Our last DR cribs uh, in, the, in the villa, well, the past few DR cribs in uh, Casa Linda were all people that either bought land and built on it or went and bought uh, villas. So here's Red Alert now. Red, how you doing, brother? I'm good. How you doing today? I'm all right, man. So listen, let's go right into it. What was the process for you, because this is your land, you own the land. Yeah. So what was the process for you to buy the land? Like what made you buy the land where you're at right now? Well, I bought this particular lot because it was up on the hill. Mm -hmm. It's got a great breeze all the time. And I've got the ocean, mountain, valley, panoramic view. Facts. Uh, in essence, all I did was walk around, exercise every day, uh, out in the mountains in the country there, a lot, a lot for sale, and you know, a good majority of them have telephone numbers you can call. Um, then I actually tracked down the lady who owned the lot, as opposed to going to a real estate agent, because uh, here you don't necessarily need a real estate agent. You will be paying them for for things that you can do yourself. And I'm going to cut you off real quick because I've I mean, me and you spoke about it before, but I've told people. I tell people all the time when it comes to buying property, buying a house, anything, you need a lawyer. You don't need a real estate agent. I mean, if you want one to help you, that's cool. That's money out of your pocket. But the reality is you need a lawyer. Lawyers are the one that finalize everything. Real estate agents just do the footwork. But as Red did himself, he did his own footwork. So go ahead, Red. Yeah, so I walked around. I tracked the lady down. And her and I sat down and hashed out a good number. It was agreed upon for both of us. I said, okay, here you go. And a lawyer signed off on it, stamped the papers. And I guess about a month after that, I broke ground. Nice. Uh, maybe eight months later, we were all pretty much done. So from the time you bought it to eight, what you say, about six to eight months, um, that was the process to build your house. And right now he has a three-bedroom home sitting on the mountain right here. Very huge three-bedroom home at that. Um, and built it up from the ground up, correct? Correct. So built it up from the ground up. Um, question though, so as our audience always has questions, were there any obstacles in both parts? This is a two-part question. Were there any obstacles in the buying process and any obstacles in the building process? Um, Anything that got in your way or, 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 or gave you some issues while you were trying to get things done? I don't think that with anything you do, whether it's here or in the States or wherever you're doing anything, that everything is going to go flawlessly. Okay. Um, so I had snags in here, but there was nothing catastrophic that okay. uh, prevented me from doing what I needed to do. Um, I chalked it up as to being part of the learning curve because, of course, you know, I'm not from this country. Mm -hmm. So I would have to say no, there, there wasn't any, any problems. Um, it was a language barrier, but I, I overcame that, and it got better, you know, week after week. Learn Spanish, y'all. Try to tell you. Hey, you get your Spanish done. <laughs> so, Red, real quick, we talk all the time now. 
I'm gonna give you guys a quick glimpse of Red House. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse of Red's house. Uh, Cause he's got more he's doing, he wants to you know, finish product and all that. But Red, so we, we spoke a, a few times and I know you, what you've done, I'm looking into doing myself. A lot of people always ask about building, buying property and so on. Now, we spoke before about offering different services to people because I know you get a lot of phone calls and emails. I get a lot of phone calls and emails and I, I don't mind helping people and answering questions. But as you know, sometimes doing footwork and getting things done takes time and money. So you do offer services as far as helping people buy property and building. Is that correct? Yes, I can facilitate those needs if necessary. Okay, so real quick, how would they contact you if they needed to reach out to you as far as getting that information? Um, I have set up a, a separate WhatsApp um, account okay. with my Dominican phone that they can uh, message um, and we can talk about what it is they might want to do. Um, I do have another project that I'm working on right now, but you know I don't have a problem uh, helping somebody out. Um, what I'm trying to avoid is the constant questions and the labor, and then at the end of the day, I don't hear from anybody. Yeah, that's I'm gonna I'm gonna step in on that one. One thing you guys gotta understand, all the viewers, we love to answer your questions. We love to get to everybody. As people see, I answer as soon as I can with the emails and, and WhatsApps and Instagrams, but. We also have lives, we have businesses. You know, if you want us to do footwork, sometimes it, it takes money and time. And for me, I know I don't know about Red, but for me, I scale a lot of my stuff out. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Someone asked me for an apartment, I'm calling someone else to go look for the apartment. I'm not going around looking for an apartment for you. So I have to pay that person. So in turn, you know, sometimes you gotta pay for a service because people are actually doing footwork. And as Red, Red does, this is, Red is a proven entity right here. He's built his own spot. He bought his own land, built a spot from scratch. So if you want to do something like that and you want this man's professional info and, and expertise, you might want to contact him and, you know, hire him and not just ask questions. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to look around real quick. As I said, the views out here are fucking awesome. We, we are up the mountain and it's, it's a beautiful area as well. I actually enjoyed the ride up here. But, uh, Red, before we go, is there anything else you want to tell the people as far as your channel? I haven't seen you putting any videos up in a while. Are you still doing the, the YouTube, or have you fell back from that, or what's going on with you otherwise? No, I, I still do videos, but um, you know me because we hang out, we talk a lot. Of course. I only do videos when I actually have something to say. Gotcha. And, <laughs> and my videos don't cover, you know, the nightlife and women and uh -huh. things that nature. Um, because... That, that aspect of the DR is always going to be there. Exactly. You know, what I like to do is put out pertinent information that people can use and go forward with. So um, uh, with this new project coming up, I hope to be putting out more videos and on a, on a more regular basis. But uh, I don't really believe in getting on the video and just talking about, you know, the color of the sky. <laughs> it's just not me. Hey, bro. and people go to me, look, look, Red, my man goes every day, hurry up, put more videos out. I said, man, I'm busy, bro. I got other things going on in my life. And, and that last Sasua video, I'm like, I, how many videos can I put out telling you that the same thing happens every year for seven years? No one, no one wants to listen to me. So it was like, I can only do so much. And like you said, if, if I ain't got nothing really to say at the moment, or it's not pertinent and important information, you guys got to wait till I get time to put these videos out. So I can totally understand that, and I respect that, uh, Reb. Listen, man, I appreciate you. Like I said, we're going to take a quick tour of Red Spot. I ain't going to show, show you guys too much. Keep his privacy to himself, you know what I'm saying? As I said, I'm not even going to tell you where his spot is at, but it's up in the mountain near Sasua. I'd say, what is it, an eight-minute ride it took me, I believe? Ten-minute ride, something like that? No, it's, it's about five to seven minutes to get up. It was, it was about eight, I said eight minutes, give or it take. It's in the mountain, um, but it's, it's really nice. Really beautiful spot. And I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. And uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, you know. I'm going to put Red's information in the description and the first pinned comment so you guys can contact him directly for any information. And don't forget, people, we have lives, we have businesses. If you want help, contact us. Many people contact me. Listen, you can hire me if you want to move down here and change your life or you need information. No problem. Questions, I have no problem answering. But understand that that takes some time. And Red as well. Red's a businessman. Red, you want Red's help buying property, building stuff? Hire that man because that man, you know, we, we work. You know what I'm saying? We got things we doing. And we not just work, we live in life as well. We like to enjoy our time. So, guys, I'm going to put this video out. Hopefully, you get this video before I go to Columbia because who knows I'm coming back from Columbia. I don't even know. You guys enjoy it. All right? Stay tuned. Hey, what's, what's going on, y'all? So, I told y'all I'm going to give y'all a brief glimpse of Red Alert's crib. Crib is huge. Three bedrooms. 
just real quick swipe over here, this huge living room, huge kitchen. Ridiculously huge. I mean, this is like the size of three living rooms here. But Red customized it the way he wanted it, and so he has got it super huge in here. All right, and I'm gonna show you his bedroom, his master bedroom. It's freaking very, very big. I told him I think, I think he overdid it on the size of the master bedroom, but hey, who don't who don't want room? He's got his own bathroom in there. This room is huge. Look at that. I can fit a couch in my bedroom, but as I told him, you can fit two king sizes and two couches in this room. As I said, Red built this from scratch. Three bedroom, two bathrooms, top of the hill. He's all up top. We so up top, we by the mountains, seeing about the rain. We hear the rain coming. Beautiful.